Hello guys, good evening and we are back again for another weather analysis for this weekend of Saturday and this is valid until Monday, January 7 to 9, 2023 and this brought to you by Typhoon 2000. Let's begin with our update. Here's the latest graph set for today, Saturday until Monday. We have another shear line but it's only affecting the Batanes and Baboyan group of islands cloudy conditions with the winds from the east and some drizzles to light rain will be expected while the northeast monsoon on the left side of the screen can be seen here being enhanced by uh, a shallow LPA which is uh, starting to dissipate this was once LPA 96W and due to uh, uh, unfavorable upper level conditions this LPA is uh, not expected to uh, develop and uh, over to the eastern sections or coastal waters of Luzon over to the coastal waters of eastern Luzon Bicol region and also Romblon plus uh, Visayas plus the eastern sections of the Visayas we have a moderate northeast monsoon with winds of 30 to 60 kph and along the Bicol region is around uh, 20 to uh, 35 kph with uh, some gust of 40 but it's not expected to bring lots of rainfall it's only cloudy conditions with some drizzles in some areas of the region while over at the uh, areas of while over the Visayas we have a uh, Laugh or extension of a developing shallow low pressure area just to the southeast of Davao region and this is currently already within the Philippine area this is uh, already within the Philippine area responsibility but it's quasi stationary and uh, we are going to keep an eye on this for possible development into a strong LPA but right now it's still weak and shallow nothing to worry about but it will dump heavy uh, light to heavy rainfall across Mindanao particularly eastern sections and Davao region and Soxygen as well because of its trough as you know uh, the, these uh, weather systems are being enhanced by La Nina that's why the rainfall is more than the uh, mean or the normal average so please take all necessary precautions those living in low-lying areas of southern Philippines. We have a shear line here over the western Pacific, northern Marianas, but it's not reaching the Philippine Islands except for this one over Batanes. A shear line that has been influenced by a departing uh, frontal system to the south of Tokyo. Okay. So the monsoon here over the Philippine Islands is being enhanced or being generated by these two high pressure cells over to the coastal waters of Shanghai and another one here over the uh, northern portions of just to the north of Guangdong uh, province okay and if you take a look at the fast animation from the University of Wisconsin you can clearly see here is some passing rain bands associated with the trough of LPA or the trough of shallow LPA which is located to the southeast of Mindanao and uh, just uh, some light showers will also be expected along these areas of the country here's the zoom in satellite animation from windy.com and as you can see using this night vision imagery the uh, low pressure area located here to the southeast of uh, Mindanao is uh, exhibiting some increasing cloudiness which will bring rainfall across eastern uh, Davao region and also over Soxygen so uh, don't forget to bring your umbrellas and rain gear some isolated showers can also be uh, seen over the areas of southern Leyte and the northeastern Mindanao okay especially uh, Dinagat and Shergao Islands while over the Bicol region 
there are some increasing cloudiness as well over central Kamakini Sur which could bring some light showers or drizzles over the area okay the extension of the trough is also reaching the southernmost point of Palawan as you can see here interconnected with another LPA the shallow one over to the south of Vietnam okay so that's the latest from our uh, fast from our windy.com zoom in satellite animation let's proceed now to the wind and pressure forecast for the next three days until Tuesday so as you can see this evening a northeast monsoon is prevailing across Bicol and eastern Visayas and some portions of eastern Luzon with atmospheric pressure of 1015 hectopascals so we are on the edge of this high pressure cell located over Shanghai tomorrow Sunday afternoon uh, the northeast monsoon will still be there but with at least but with a decreasing wind intensity down to 20 to 30 kph along the coastal waters and on Monday afternoon the northeast monsoon will continue to weaken and it is just a uh, northeasterly surface wind flow and the LPA is starting to form here to the southeast of Mindanao it's quasi stationary for the next uh, three days Tuesday afternoon northeast monsoon lighter version of the northeast monsoon or northeasterly wind flow will continue to affect the Bicol region and uh, already extending across uh, Visayas while uh, the LPA here has uh, begun to uh, while the LPA here is forecast to become more uh, broader okay and uh, it may bring some rain showers and thunderstorms across Mindanao it's tough okay it's tough uh, is expected to bring rain showers and thunderstorms across Mindanao and if you take a look at the uh, rainfall forecast until Tuesday so right now it's uh, quite dry across the rest of the Philippine Islands except for eastern Mindanao because of that trough of shallow LPA Sunday afternoon we expect uh, mm, some rain showers and thunderstorms to uh, uh, to be felt across uh, Visayas because of the northeasterly surface wind flow the northeast monsoon it depends on the intensity of the uh, wind system and uh, Monday afternoon the uh, cloudiness of that LPA will start to uh, move more to the north affecting eastern Visayas and uh, uh, some showers also across the Bicol region and we have also some thunderstorms across Mindanao and, uh, and the western sections of Visayas because of the uh, extension or the trough from LPA from the shallow LPA over to the southeast of Mindanao and on Tuesday afternoon the uh, trough will uh, expand across Sulu Archipelago and uh, rainfall intensity will begin to increase across uh, the Visayas as well as over at Mindanao that will be on Tuesday afternoon while cloudy conditions with the winds from the northeast monsoon will prevail over the Bicol region come Tuesday okay so for the next uh, uh, three days to four days we expect some passing showers over the Bicol region and but still there are some uh, sunshine that could penetrate our region since we are far away from the uh, uh, direct effects of this LPA located to the east of Mindanao come Tuesday okay so there you go that's the latest for this uh, Saturday evening and we will return in the next couple of days again from Typhoon 2000 this has been Mike Padua reporting stay safe always be hashtag with the wiser happy weekend to all stay healthy as well and thank you so much for watching our channel